All right, here we are, game two between LGD Forever Young. Forever Young. Up against Wings. As uh, Wings, they have a 1 0 lead after coming back from that 10,000 net worth deficit. They had a huge game from Faith Beyond and Shadow. Faith Beyond on the Magnus last game, Shadow on the Troll Warlord. And uh, let's see how both teams are going to fare game two. LGDFY, they pick up Tusk. Or they ban out Tusk, excuse me. Ban out Tusk, they ban out the Swardar and Wings. They ban out the Magnus as well as the Legion Commander. Getting picked up for LGD is going to be Crystal Maiden and Abaddon. While Wings, first pick Monkey King into then a Warlock. So, interesting choice of uh, players or heroes for Wings. As Monkey King, we've seen him in a four spot. And I'm pretty sure in the show match between... EG and Onyx, we saw Monkey King in the off lane role. So in this pickup, in the first pick, with a Warlock coming out, maybe that's their 4 and 5, but we could also see uh, Monkey King on uh, Faith Beyond off lane. So we'll have to see how that goes. So get another ban of Pugna. Get the ban of Pugna. Four Wings Gaming. We'll see what LFY choose to ban out next. We've got Tusk and Swardar already banned out by LFY. Magnus, Legion Commander, and Pugna for Wings. And we take a look at the heroes on this lineup for both teams. LFY, they've got the slow of Abaddon. And then uh, they've got the slow from Crystal Maiden as well as Frostbite for some of that lockdown. As for Wings Gaming... They've got the stun from Monkey King. They've obviously got the ultimate from Warlock looking for that team fight. And combine that with the Fatal Bonds, we might be able to find some solid team fights with Wings Gaming, remaining. as well as the Jingu Mastery. So OD gets banned out by LFY. And we'll have to see what Wings Gaming and LFY choose to ban out next, as for me, I do believe... That Wings Gaming, they've picked up an offlaner in Monkey King. Obviously, it could be 4-5 for these two heroes for Wings. And then uh, for LFY, it looks as though Abaddon will be that offlaner. And Crystal Maiden going to be that 5 support position. So, let's see what these bands are for both sides. 40 seconds left in the reserve time for Wings. Could see them banning out... Silencers, maybe they don't want to be up against it again, as we did see, or actually, we're going to see LF, no, 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 we're going to see, uh, sorry, Blink was on the silencer last time, so maybe they don't ban out the silencer, but LFY will ban it out. They ban out the Bat Rider, not thinking that Abaddon's going to be the off laner for LFY. Uh, Abaddon, he could sit in that four position, could dual lane with an off laner, but Bat Rider, I'm not too sure, is the, uh, most solid ban for wings, and then banned out by LFY will be the Ursa. So, Monkey King, Warlock, and let's see what Wings Gaming choose to pick up next. Not a lot of reserve time for either team. Ten seconds remaining. As uh, Wings Gaming, maybe they go back to the troll. Maybe they look for. The Silencer back over mid, and Shadow Shaman gets picked up. The only hero not to be picked up during the Kiev uh, main qualifiers is now picked up here for Wings. So Shadow Shaman, Warlock, and Monkey King up against Abaddon and Crystal Maiden thus far. Let's see what LGD really want to do to kind of counter these picks of Wings. Five seconds remaining. It's interesting to see Shadow Shaman. Coming out, being the only hero not picked up in the main qualifiers at all. And now we see him picked up here for wings. So Shadow Shaman, Warlock are going to be those four fives of the supports. Monkey King is going to be there in the off lane. And LGD, they, you know, if they put Abaddon four, they could be looking for three more cores, but instead they go for the Ogre Magi. Abaddon's going to be in that offline. So Ogre Magi, Crystal Maiden, some solid combination. 
You've got the Fire Blast, you've got the Frostbite from LFY, it looks pretty good with the Soul of the Aphotic Shield of Abaddon. LFY are looking uh, quite good with these three picks thus far, and, you know, LFY, they had an early lead. They had that 10,000 net worth lead heading into about 20 minutes into the first game, but Wings Gaming, they took two straight engagements, and... It really just turned around for them, and Wings ended up taking game one. And now Lifestealer picked up for Wings. That'll be the hero for Shadow. So Shadow going to be on the Lifestealer. And then off lane, it's going to be Faith Beyond. And now Lena picked up for LFY. Lena going to be over mid. So I kind of like this combination for LFY. A lot of lockdown for them. Of course, you've got the Bloodlust in combination with Lena and Abaddon. It's pretty solid. And now Wings Gaming, they've got the Monkey King who can be infested by Lifestealer. Use the Primal Spring, jump down, infest popped, and all of a sudden you're looking good for Wings Gaming to combine that possibly with the Chaotic Offering. So Band Out is Troll, Band Out is Nyx from Wings, then LFY respectively. Let's see what both teams go with for their last picks, their fifth picks for both these teams. LFY, they're still in need of a safe lane. And then Wings Gaming, they still need themselves a mid. So, when you still need a mid for Wings Gaming, they want a little bit more mobility. Maybe we find them getting a Storm Spirit out for Wings, while LGD, L Forever Young, they're looking for a safe laner. And maybe they find that in something like a Spectre or... And in this case, they're going to end up going with the Clink. So early aggression again from LFY. Last time that ended up biting them as it turned around 20 minutes in with Wings taking two straight engagements. Now we got to see what Wings go with. I do like Storm Spirit for the mid for Wings. Does give a bit of a mobility for Lifestealer to get in the infest, roam around the map, get the ball lightning in, infest popped. So, three seconds remaining. They're going to end up going Tinker. with Tinker. So, Tinker, he does have some solid mobility, but we're probably going to see Lifestealer, for the most part, be inside the Monkey King. So, Crystal Maiden, Abaddon, Ogre, Magi, Lena, Clinks up against Tinker, Lifestealer, Shadow Shaman, Warlock, and Monkey King. Wings Gaming up against LGD Forever Young. Game 2 in this set of 2 at DPL Dota Professional League. 2017 10 seconds remaining So, we're ready to go. Faith Beyond is going to be on that Monkey King. So, we are seeing an offlane Monkey King in this second game between Wings and LFY. We take a look at LFY. Monet on the Clinks. Jixing on the Abaddon. LPC on the Crystal Maiden. Super mid with the Lena and White on the Ogre Magi. And then on the other side for Wings, Faith Beyond offlane with that Monkey King. Mid is Blink with the Tinker. Y on the Warlock. And then Shadow with the Life Stealer. And Ice Ice with the Shadow Shaman. So we'll have to see this game too. Kind of how it ends up. LFY, they do look pretty good with their lineup early. But again, this could be a case of where Wings, they just find their moment 25 minutes in. And turn it around and win the game. Faith Beyond just jumping around, and that slow is pretty nice with the Primal Spring. Could see it work out well with the likes of the Chaotic Offering, as well as the Shadow Shaman and Tinker. You slow them down in March of the Machines, get those rockets and lasers out, and then maybe have Shadow kind of come in from the back or gank over, or flank over is the word I'm looking for from the side to finish off LFY.
So we take a look at these lanes up top again. Will be Monet with LPC on the on the Life Stealer and Crystal Maiden, respectively. Faith Beyond solo off lane. No, he's going to be joined here by Y. So it's going to be Monkey King and Warlock in the off lane for Wings, and then Blink over mid up against Super in this mid lane. And we take a look over mid or over uh, down bottom as it's Chixing and White on the Abaddon and Ogre Magi and Shadow. Ice Ice with the Life Stealer and Shadow Shaman. So for these lanes, you you can definitely see it early go for wings, especially if Faith Beyond balls out. It did take him a while to ball out last game, but there's the Frostbite coming through on Faith Beyond. He gets very low and has to use that Tango. Heal himself back up. Shadow Word is available in just a moment. Will be used on Faith Beyond to keep him in this lane. And there is the Primal Spring. They're looking to go in on Monet. They've slowed him down quite a bit. Faith Beyond, a couple more shots would get Monet, but they don't get it. And meanwhile down low it's a one for one trade so i'm looking up top possibly seeing a couple of kills up top there for wings but instead they trade a hero on each side the shadow shaman and the abaddon so it's one apiece sorry about the poor camera work i thought maybe there'd be something up top So let's see, what does Ice Ice have? He just has Ether Shock, so... I'm not too sure how Jixen got taken out. We know that Ice Ice was the first blood. But other than that, maybe he just got charged down by Shadow. I'm surprised to see him die in this lane already. So we take a look. Let's take a look over mid as we take a look over at Super. Let's say that phrase three more times. And actually down low, Jixing low again. Seeing at about half health. So Ice Ice and Shadow doing a very good job of pushing this Abaddon back. He's 9-1. and one. And Tinker over mid for wings is 10-1. and one, Or 9-5. Uh, and, uh, nope, 10-5. and There it is. So I really thought the opportunity for kills was going to be up top. Meanwhile, the open wounds comes out on Jixing. They're going to pop that aphotic shield. There's the Aether Shock. Jixing getting glow again. They're trying to chase Shadow looking for two more hits, but Jixing just gets out of range. Now White, no open wounds for 12 seconds. Should be okay. Aphotic shield is available from Abaddon if they do choose to use it. So no kills this time for Wings. And they are going to pull keep the creep, creep wave momentum on in their favorable End. And meanwhile, up top, I'm, I'm 0 for 3 with these kills. It's Faith Beyond falls to Monet. Ugh. Not tilting for the team, but tilting for me. So Blink and Ice Ice, they heal back up. We take a look over at Ice Ice. He's got one in the shackles. Just sitting level two. We'll see if he goes with the 111 in Ether Shock, Hex, and the Shackles, or if he chooses to go 201 with the Shadow Shaman. Another in Ether Shock, which be might be a little bit more burst damage to help out getting a couple kills down low for wings. Again, let's take a look in this off lane Monet. He's sitting at 7-1, not amazing in the farm. His Monkey King's 14-4, but he did get the kill on Faith Beyond. And ultimately, we'll see if Faith Beyond chooses to go in continuously and keep aggressive on Monet. about level three is ice ice there it is level three let's see what he goes with if he goes with the one one and one no he actually goes two on one with the ether shock like i said he might and now they've got a little bit more burst damage to take care of both white and chixing if they go in again so not too much heavy aggression from either side it's a game without an earth spirit without those kind of rotations where you get the rolling boulders in and you really look for that early aggressive kills but for the side of wings, they're farming up quite, quite well. They've got the bottle out for Tinker as well as the boots. We take a look down low as it looks as though they might be trying to go in on Shadow. 
They're not moving that far forward. Jixing and White will just trade a couple of pot shots with Shadow. And that's it. Phase Boots picked up for Shadow. We'll see if they can chase him on down. Take a look at Faith Beyond. Might be looking to use that Boundless Strike to move in on Monet. If they can push him by in his tower, ultimately he can find himself in a little bit of trouble. And Warlock level 4 does have 2 in Shadow Word. And then over down low, Ice Ice might have been caught out. Shadow Shaman in a lot of tr trouble. The Aphotic Shield pops and there's the Shackles coming through on Jixing. It's a neutral keep creep with the Shockwave to come through. To end up denying him away from LFY, and Shadow tries to go in to get the kill on Jixing. Now they're trying to turn it around. There's the Fire Blast. With the Aphotic Shield, now the Ignite. Shadow getting pretty low, down about one-third health. They're trying to possibly get the rotations. There's the Open Wounds. Jixing getting low. He's going to pop that wand. Stays alive. There's the Tower hitting away at White. One more shot will finish him off, and Shadow ends up getting the kill. And Rockets... Rockets coming in from Blink, they'll end up cleaning up the Abaddon. Blink, he says, you let me have the scraps, I'll get this kill. So now 3-2 to two in favor of Wings. It looked like it was going to go wrong for Shadow. He gets back towards Tower, uses the Rage, uses the Open Wounds, stays alive. And ultimately, they do end up getting both the Ogre Magi and the Abaddon down low. Blink getting one of them after making the rotation. Meanwhile, up top, Monet's going to fall. Faith Beyond's going to get the kill. Super trying to come on over towards Y. And there's the Laguna Blade. And now Y, I, I don't exactly know what he's doing. Maybe he knew he was dead, but, but Super just finishes off Y. And he doesn't even retreat that far back. That was very interesting. We'll go, we'll go over at Ice Ice. There's the Bloodlust from White. Just chasing down Ice Ice. They're just trading back and forth. There's the Ether Shock. Now the Fire Blast comes out. And Ice Ice, he does have Shackles available if he chooses to go in on White. They're starting to look to chase him down. And he's still walking through the jungle. He doesn't have a TP scroll. Blink's going to spot him. And now here it is. Here's the chase on. And by chase, I mean Blink backing off. And White ultimately getting away. I really thought Tinker was going to go for it, but I guess uh, Shadow Shaman Ice Ice backed off and they don't end up getting the kill. So Arcane Rune goes there for Blink. That's going to be very nice in this mid lane up against Lena, but now they're trying to make the rotation over. They've got White nearby, no Shrine available, and the Ward does spot out this Tinker. As well as this Ward spotting out the rotation of LFY. So 4-3 to three in favor of Wings. We take a look at the net worth early on. We'll switch it over to the net worth now, 8.5 minutes in. And let's take a look at that net worth. It's a 1,000 lead for Wings. Now the smoke out on Ice Ice. They're trying to make a play with the Shackles and the Aether Shock out on Super. If they can find it, they can get the Rocket's Laser and march the Machines down to ultimately get a kill mid on this Lena. But instead, it's a deep ward placed by Ice Ice over by this Shrine. Let's see if he comes over. Take a look over up top as Shadow has made his way here with Faith Beyond. There's the balance strike. They do get the kill. Faith Beyond ends up getting it as he gets the Jingu Mastery to pop. They get another kill out on Monet. He's dead for 20 seconds. Maybe they head on over towards LPC. He's going to get back towards his Tier 2 tower, but still jumping around his Faith Beyond in the trees to spot LPC. See if he goes back because he did spot the Crystal Maiden and now the Crystal Maiden up top on these trees. Does still have one more shot with this Jingu Master. He's now across the trees coming all the way over. Now does spot LPC and now they're going to go in. Shadow's going to come through with the Open Wounds. LPC in a bit of trouble. There's the Frostbite. They do get the Fire Blast. There's the Chaotic Offering to drop on two. They'll finish off LPC. Monet is here but I don't know. He might have found himself a little more than he can handle. There's the Boundless Strike Monet. Tries to get out with the Shadow Walk. Meanwhile, off screen, Ice Ice is going to fall. White getting chased down by Shadow, Faith Beyond, and Y. 
And there's the jump down from Faith Beyond. It's a double kill for him on this Monkey King. And now 7 to 4 for Wings. So up top, Wings. They're going to look to take this tier 1. They've got the Golem just hitting away with Shadow Faith Beyond and Y. And no counter from LFY themselves is Monet. He's got himself the Soul Ring looking to finish off the treads, but he needs a little bit of farm to find himself online and a couple more levels to really do anything about this lineup that comes in from Wings. So they end up trading a tier 1 for a tier 1 up top and down low. Up top LFY will lose one. And down low Wings will lose their tier 1. And now LFY. Let's take a look around the horn really as we see what everybody's got. Abaddon with these phase boots looking for a wand. We take a look at Super who is over mid. Has the arcane boots as well as the soul ring. And has the null talisman. And then over on Monet we said he has that power treads. And he's looking for the desolator next. Something he's going to need to really start being a... A bit more effective in this game. Over on Life's the order Shadow. Uh, Shadow, he has the arm weight just about finished. Needs 150 more gold. And uh, Tinker Blink. He's got himself the Soul Ring, the Null Talisman, and now Boots Travel as he's trying to find himself a Blink Dagger to end up ultimately pushing out these lanes with March on the Machines. Rotations are coming over. Jixing showing himself. LPC is here as well, but it's going to be spotted by Faith Beyond. Now he's stunned for a long time. There's the Light Strike Array. That'll get them the kill on Faith Beyond. And now, let's see if Wings look to come in in any shape and form. But without Faith Beyond on the Monkey King, I think they'll just sit back. Let LFY get this little battle victory and move on with their life. While I say that, Shadow, Ice Ice, and Y, they make their way over with the smoke. Maybe head towards top. They know they can get themselves a, a bit of an easy kill out on to Monet if they have the dust and they're ready to go in. But instead, they smoke over. They look to take this Tier 1 mid. They drop the ulti from Ice Ice. LPC showing himself, and there's the Primal Spring on LPC. He's in a bit of trouble. The Jingle Mystery. Mastery. One, two, three. The ulti comes through, but he's dead with the Boundless Strike. There's the Chaotic Offering, as well as the Laguna Blade out on Tinker. He's getting very well on the back end. It takes three of them to just take out the Tinker, and now Jixing, he's going to have to use that ult. He gets away with the Aphotic Shield, and now Wings trying to run down Monet as they've got... This ulti coming through from Faith Beyond. It's hitting on White. It's hitting on Super. They've got themselves one. They've got themselves two. It's a double kill for Faith Beyond. A big ulti there from the Monkey King. It's 10 to 7. And Wings, they take the first to 10 kills. 10 to 7 over LFY. They turn it around. They do end up losing their Tinker. But they do take a couple of their own on LFY. So it's a fight that works out for Wings, and they now find themselves pushing over a 2,000 net worth spread, as well as a 1k XP split. And now it's time for Blink to really just start pushing. He's got the boots to travel, he's got the Soul Ring, and it makes him have an easier time just pushing out these lanes, putting the extra pressure on LFY to really make something happen. They need this Desolator to come out from Monet pretty soon. They need him to be a bit more effective, even with the Laguna Blade. They weren't able to take out the Tinker so quickly, and they ended up losing a couple before they even got Blink. So Blink's going to be moving around this map all of the time as a Tinker does. And let's see if Wings can take advantage of the space they're going to be granted with the mobility of Blink on this Tinker. Shadow heading towards these ancient creeps already. He's got himself the armlet now looking for the Echo Saber. I can imagine a Desolator next up for him as he looks to get a couple more items before they fight again. They're waiting on the Chaotic Offering to come through on Y as that's down for another 55 seconds. But they are going to use the, war the Serpent Wards again on Ice Ice with Blink coming over to try and get a Tier 1. So Faith Beyond, he's in the trees, he does spot out Jixing, and now Invis is Monet. 
So they get the Primal Spring down on Jixing as well as Monet, even though he's invis. It's going to push them back. The Serpent Wards with Shadow, Faith Beyond, and Blink will continue to do some work on this Tier 1 bottom. And they end up taking it down with ease. Thus, with LFI nearby, they don't go in, and they'll lose that tower. So, Wings, they're making their pressure felt. They're moving around the map very well. They've got some good mobility from the Monkey King, Life Stealer, and Tinker. So, overall, it's just going to be hard for LFY to go back and forth on this map to really find anything against Wings. And especially once Wings really get themselves their next couple of items, especially on Blink and Shadow, things are just going to get tougher and tougher for LFY. They really needed to do something with this early game, but they ultimately fell behind. And now they're down 10 to 7. The net worth keeps climbing at now 3,000 net worth split. And it can only get better for Wings from here unless they falter. take a look over we've been focusing a lot on wings we take a look over at lena who's looking to get that bloodstone but with how quickly lena's been going down super getting this bloodstone may not be the best idea and there it is so it's it's not bad it's 17 minutes in but with super sitting top of the net worth the rest of the team a bit further back they're going to have to be careful with Super. Monet is here looking down low with Jixing. Still, he has that Desolator coming his way. Let's take a look at this Courier. No, doesn't have it coming his way. He's actually switched it to a BKB, so he doesn't even go for the Desolator. And to me, I think he really does just need that Desolator to be able to do anything effective on the wings. So they go into Roche, they get the Serpent Wards down, Shadow, Faith Beyond, Ice Ice, and Y are all here. Meanwhile, Blink over mid might have found himself a little bit too much, and Monet's going to hit after this Tier 1 tower. Will get the kill, but this is opening up space for Wings to get the Roche. There's the Dragon Swift coming through from Super Light Strike Array on the trees to try and stop Faith Beyond, but he's already in. There's the ulti to push back LFY. The Chaotic Offering comes in with the Balance Strike. They are all connected together. They're already get a kill with... <laughs> them getting one on LPC and backing off is super he's in a lot of trouble already down low and he's got himself chained up to Roche he will be okay gets himself to heal with the shrine hexed up now is Jixing running back is super he's gonna be shackled up there's the balance strike coming through Jixing and Monet get a kill on Ice Ice and why and now Monet is trying to finish off this Roche he gets the kill on Roche gets the Aegis so under the noses of Wings, LFY, they've taken it. And Faith Beyond, he turns into an Aegis, but already knowing it's in his pocket, Monet. And he sees right through the little guise of Faith Beyond. And they do end up getting a third. So... It goes three kills for LFY, bringing that net worth to about even. And that's what LFY needed to do. They took a nice fight around the Roche pit. It didn't look too good for them at first. It looked as though Wings had made enough space for them to finish off the Roche. But they end up losing three and then lose, lost the kill of Roche and lost the Aegis to Monet. So now they've got the Aegis. They've got the BKB out on the Clinks. And they might be feeling a little bit more comfortable taking these fights. Of course, the aggression will still be there from Tinker, who's now looking for this Ags for that laser. But, LFY, they have the advantage right now with the Aegis. And we'll see if they look to fight and be aggressive again. So Shadow just continuing to farm. He's got that Echo Saber right up top is Monet, who's going to use that Shadow Walk. Come on over. He does spot Shadow as they do have, or the Skeleton Walk, not Shadow Walk. They use the Skeleton Walk 
all the way over on Shadow. They do have the ward there spotting him out. He does have the vision. Now coming over his LPCs. He does get the Frostbite as well as the ulti. There's the Rage as well as the Infest on a Creeps. So it's a wasted ulti. They know he's nearby. And now coming over is Blink. Again, the Skeleton Walk. And now over is White. So White, LPC, and Monet are all here. It just gets them out with the Infest. Blink gets himself out safely. And then with this Creep Infested moving all the way back is Shadow. So, the game a little bit slowed down as LFY really just using this Aegis to find themselves their next items. But coming down low is Monet. Just scouting out a little bit to spot a couple down low for Wings. And he's just trying to farm as much as he can. Maybe look to get a kill. He does have the Lena nearby. Super. And the likes of them together might be able to find something with the combination of Laguna Blade. As well as the damage output of Monet on, on this Clinks. So Shadow Blade now comes out for the Lena. Did lose those three Bloodstone charges over before. And down to nine Bloodstone charges coming over for Lena is going to be that full Shadow Blade. We took a look down low. Shadow, he's got himself that Echo Saber and Armlet. And now Monet and Super, they're going to try and take this tier two. Here comes the rotation of Faith Beyond. And Shadow might look for something as there is the boots to travel in from Blink. So Monet going to get Bloodlusted up. They're still staying nearby. There's the Shadow Blade from Super. There is the Light Strike away as well as the Laguna Blade. And just like that, they take Shadow off the map. So they get the kill, and it, it's starting to fall apart for Wings. They looked as though they had the early advantage, something that they can roll forward with, but LFY, they won that fight at the Roche Pit, and now they're continuing to just push towers with Monet and Super. There's the balance strike, but Monet still grabs himself the kill on the tower, uses that skeleton walk, and continues over towards mid. So Blink, 900 gold away from this Ags. We'll see if that changes anything and if maybe Wings look to get themselves a team fight coming over his Monet, trying to find himself a kill on Blink, but he will just TP out. I don't know what that's about. So Midas is here for Warlock. He's trying to get a four staff. And then let's take a look over at Ice Ice, who's got that medallion, ending up trying to go for a... Possibly a Solar Crest. And that will help out Shadow in the later goings. But they need to find themselves a nice fight right now. And with four of them smoked up, maybe this is their moment. Faith Beyond is going to lead the charge. There's the Aether Shock while smoked up. And now moving forward is White. He's going to break that smoke and they immediately get spotted out. And it's a smoke gone to waste for Wings. So Wings with that smoke kind of getting fizzled out. They'll back up, farm again, and let's see if LFY, they take their moment to come on over. They've got the smoke out on LPC. They've got the skeleton walk as well as the shadow blade on Clinks and Lena. Let's see if LFY, no longer with that Aegis, look to be the ones that put the aggression on, or if Wings, they let them continue to just farm. Coming over, scouting out is Monet. Does have himself bloodlusted. He's going to spot a couple here for Wings. Maybe he can get a quick kill onto the Warlock. And there it is. He's going to go in with the BKB popped. Why? He's going to get very low, but he doesn't finish him off before the Chaotic Offering comes down. There's the Serpent Wards. We go into, sh into really slideshow mode. There's the Laguna Blade. It's going to come on through. They've lost three on Wings already. Shadow trying to do work, but he's getting hit by the entire side of L LFY. He'll be the fourth one to die. It's a triple kill for Monet, despite getting caught out in the Serpent Wards as well as the Chaotic Offering. LFY, they take out four, and only Blink survives. 
So this game looking very good for LFY. They've now taken a 6,000 net worth lead. They're going to end up getting the golem for 150 gold. They should be able to turn this into a tier 2 and maybe look towards hitting a tier 3. It's a hard high ground push into Blink. But LFY, they seem to have the ability to do it. If they catch out Blink or catch out Shadow, it makes them have an easier time. And it did just have four dead, which granted them this tier 2 mid. So Monkey King, Faith Beyond, looking for a basher next to help out with that ult. We take a look over at the Life Stealer. Who's looking uh Shadow looking to finish off this Desolator just 600 gold away. We take a look up at Blink. He's got himself that full axe. And now on the other side of LFY, they've got the Desolator. They do spot Blink, who actually gets the ability to Blink out. They're hitting away at this top tier 1. Monet getting pretty low. And there's the Ag's laser to hit on him and push him back with that skeleton walk. He gets down to about half health, but uses that ulti to heal on up. So LFY, they seem to have pretty solid control of the map despite being up against the Tinker. And, you know, to me, at least I thought... That Wings, they were going to have the control. They were going to have Blink going around, making it tough for LFY to find themselves going in as creep, lane, creep lanes continue to get pushed forward. But instead, they took that Roche Pit and the game has completely turned since. They're the ones being aggressive. They're the ones going in on Wings, not really caring about Blink. They took out four in that last fight, everybody but Blink. And if they do that again and again and again... You know, maybe one or two more times, we could see themselves getting them getting a set of racks already. So we take a look over at Monet, now looking for the MKB next. So they're looking to continue to push top this tier 1 tower just about dead. And now Ice Ice over with Blink, but there are five here for LFY. Monet does get the tower. Abaddon has the blade mail, has the radiance, looking for the Octarine core next. So he's becoming very hard to kill. Becoming a, quite the tank for LFY. He's going to continue to push on through. There's the Serpent Wars. It's going to lock up Monet for just a moment. Ice is getting very low. Now Shadow hits away at Monet, and he's going to fall. They've got a nice Chaotic Offering. There's the ulti on Jixen getting popped. They're going to pop down Shadow Shaman, but now they lose three in both LP and C and White, going down to Shadow and Faith Beyond. So they lock in the Clinks with those Serpent Wards, and that's where the fight went wrong for LFY, even with that BKB popped. It wasn't enough to keep him alive, and they end up losing the Crystal Maiden. They lose the Ogre Magi, so three for one. A nice trade overall for Wings, and they're looking to go in on Jixing. Jixing does not have this ult. They're moving on forward, and there's the Primal Spring going to come up short, but Blink, he goes in with the Rockets and the Laser, and that'll end up being four. So now Shadow up top, he'll look to take a tier 2, and with these couple of heroes dead on LFY, there's going to be no contest. They'll take the tier 2, he'll TP over to this shrine, and let's see if they go in towards Roche. It's getting pinged out already by LPC, and they're thinking that Wings are going to try and do it, and they are thinking right. So they're coming on over for LFY, maybe to stop Wings once again. Let's see what they can do. Last time they were by the Roche pit. Wings ended up losing the fight, but they're taking this Roche pretty quickly, and nobody going in from LFY just yet. They need to go in soon to have any chance, and they're not. So Wings are going to get the kill on Roche. They're going to get the Aegis out on Shadow. And now, with just that little engagement up top by the Shrine and taking the Aegis, things are looking better for Wings as they start to pull back this 10,000 net worth deficit. And again, we've seen this before with LFY. They had a 10,000 net worth deficit last game or uh, lead the last game, and they ended up blowing it anyway. <clears throat> Invisibility. So 
So Monet trying to finish off the MKB. Gets caught up in a bit of trouble. Getting locked up by those Serpent Wards, and hopefully that doesn't happen again for them. That's really what lost them the fight. And if you can avoid that, maybe the fight goes a little bit differently for LFY, and they end up winning. But Monet gets locked down, he pops the BKB and got struck out by Shadow. That's where really the problems lie. That's not smart, LPC. So LFY, they feel a little bit uneasy about taking these fights after losing by that trine. So they'll sit back, look for a couple of more items, and they do get that Ags out on Lino. We take a look over at Clink's. Still hunting down that next item, but just have the Blink Treads, BKB, and Desolator. Over on the Abaddon, Blade Mail, and Radiance. So some solid items for this Abaddon, but it didn't end up saving them in the last fight either. So 16 even, the net worth about 5,000 in favor of LFY. Wings, however, they feel like they're the ones who have the lead, especially with LFY sitting back looking for their next items. And really, the late game of Wings is much better, so despite the lead for LFY, Wings, uh, they got to be favorable here as they do have a Tinker and a Lifestealer and ultimately a Monkey King that's going to start really doing quite a bit with the items he's picking up. So Blink comes over, Ether Shock to kill off this creep wave, continuing to just throw rockets will get them this tier 2 mid, and they'll just continue to rearm and throw rockets forward. They'll get the tier 2, and one more outer tower stands for LFY. Shadow now looking for an Abyssal Blade as he finishes off that AC, and we take a look over at the Warlock, he's finished off an Axe. So the Midas has get him, gotten him back towards a pretty solid net worth of 7,200 with the Ags Midas boots. We'll see how well that Chaotic Offering ends up working out for Wings. They've been placed very well up to this point. And really, you take a look at the combination of LFY. They don't have the best late game. They have some optimal pickoffs and some okay team fight. <clears throat> but going into the high ground of... Shadow, Faith Beyond, and Blink, where you've got a Tinker who's able to push them back with March of the Machines and the constant lasers and rockets. It's just going to be a hard high ground siege for LFY, let alone trying to win a fight. So now hexed up in a little bit of trouble is Abaddon. There is the Serpent Wards with a chaotic offering. They'll blow up Crystal Maiden. Trying to get a kill on the back end is Monet, but he'll have to BKB and run out. Shadow running towards Jixing. There's the Balance Strike to stop him for just a moment. The ulti will be popped. There's the open wounds. They're not going to hit him just yet. The Light Strike Array does hit, but now with the Primal Spring coming in with the ulti is Faith Beyond. They're charging in forward. Super in a bit of trouble. He'll be the next one to fall on LFY back up in seven seconds thanks to the Bloodstone. But they take out two, losing none on wings. They still have that Aegis up on Shadow. <clears throat> So Monet quickly in that fight and quickly out as he really couldn't find anything. Had to pop the BKB to find himself an escape. And now Jixing again in a bit of trouble. He still does have that ult. There's that Jingu Mastery. And now they're looking to finish off Jixing. There's the upheaval to slow him down. The ulti is about to wear off. There's the Aegis getting reclaimed. And now Shadow's going to move forward trying to get a kill on this Abaddon. Will get it. There's the Shackles out on Monet, but he's going to be able to get out. So now they're moving in further on white. Meanwhile, on the back end, Super trying to do something, but he's surrounded by three. The Light Strike Array is going to hit on this Warlock, but it's really not finding him an escape. There's the laser through from Blink, and they get a second in both the Abaddon and the Lina. So two cores dead on LFY. Wings, they'll look to push down mid. And a pause comes out from Y as Ice Ice dislocates. Uh, diso disconnects. I don't know why I said dislocates.
So two dead on LFY, pushing down mid is wings. Let's see if this bug is fixed, because Ice Ice disconnected, and now his color is green instead of blue, and that wasn't turning back uh, after the reconnect. So... I have to see if that is fixed overall. So here we go, G is called, we're back underway, and they did fix it, so Ice Ice back to blue. Nice. And they look to go over bottom as Blink is here, Rocket's not going to hit, there's the Glimmer Cape and the TP out from the Crystal Maiden, and backing off is Monet. They don't actually end up pushing mid, they go back towards this shrine to heal up and get their mana back, and the Abyssal Blade is finished off for Faith Beyond. So the team fight and the pushing power of Wings just getting better and better as now the Bashers picked up for Shadow. A couple items came out there. As now Wings, they are pushing this bottom tier 2. Shouldn't be contested. They use the Serpent Wards. They get the kill and no more Outer Towers exist for LFY. And possibly with another team fight win for Wings, could see them going for their first high ground attempt. Shadow just trying to finish off this Abyssal Blade. It will be two on the team between Faith Beyond and Shadow. And Monkey King, very strong right now with both the Echo Saber and the Abyssal Blade. The ulti's been working out for the team, placed very well with the chaotic offering of the Warlock Ice Ice. Or uh, with the chaotic offering of Y, not Ice Ice. Ice Ice is on the Shadow Shaman. And uh, they've been timing them pretty well together. They get the ulti from Monkey King Faith Beyond with the Chaotic Offering of Y. And under that, you've got Shadow just hitting away at the side of LFY. And it, it's really just been pretty simple for Wings in a couple of these fights. Smoked up is four on wings. Ice Ice, Y, Faith Beyond, and Shadow, they come through. We're going to get a kill down low as Blink's going to fall to Monet in white. So he gets caught out. I was concentrating mid where we do see a fight break out with Faith Beyond and the rest of LFY. They get the upheaval out on Jixing. They're going to pop that ult. There's the Light Strike Array, but it's going to miss. There's the Abyssal Blade with the Sentry Award placed by Ice Ice. There's the Chaotic Offering. And now with the ulti coming through from Faith Beyond, they're going to work to get a kill on Jixing. And now they look for more on LPC. Sold up with those open wounds. And now here come the two golems. He gets four staff forward, getting him out of range. And now the Glimmer Cape will get him out with Super and White. So it's a one-for-one one trade. But LPC, he might look to go back in. Faith Beyond, he gets hit with that Frostbite. And now Monet with the BKB. Faith Beyond getting very low. He'll be taken out by Monet. And there's the buyback in from Blink. Blink comes through with the boots of travel. And now hexed up is Monet. He's going to be the next one to fall. Y gets the kill. And now they're looking to chase the rest of LFY. LPC very low. And there's the Glimmer Cape, but no TP out. The Rockets are going to fly on through. The open wounds are out from Shadow as well. And there's a couple of hits. And they will bring down LPC. Super moving over, trying to get out. But only has boots to travel. And they might be able to come over and stop him from getting the kill. So 
So another pause comes out, 23-18 to 18 in favor of Wings. The game to about even on the net worth. Yeah, but overall, it does look as though Wings, they're in the driver's seat and looking towards finishing this 2-0 and grabbing two points in the group stage. So Shadow Shaman back in a game. Ice Ice. And let's see. Do they chase down Super? No, they're going to let him go. So the Golem's only up for a little bit longer. They are going to push him down bottom. Maybe get a creep wave, but I don't think they're going to last long enough. There it is. All of them are dead. And now looking over towards mid is Wings. They're going to push out this creep wave with the March of the Machines. Blink comes back in. And now here comes the initial high ground push from Wings. They're going to kill off these creep waves with March of the Machines. Pull the glyph out from LFY really quickly. And Monet's dead for 35 seconds. He does not have buyback. Stunned by the Light Strike Array is Shadow. And trying to come in is LFY. They've got the Blade Mail popped. Walking into the March of the Machines. Now coming on forward. White's going to get himself the Fire Blast as well as the Laguna Blade. And they do get the kill on Shadow, so he doesn't get the retreat he wants. And now they look towards Ice Ice. They've got three here. They get the X out on Super, but surrounded by the rest of the team is Ice Ice, and they get two. So their first attempt at a high ground siege just does not work out. So LFY, they hold well without Monet. Next time, Wings, they got to take that a bit more carefully as they lost Shadow in the mix of everything. So, LFY, we take a look. Octarine Core out for Abaddon. And they might surprise me. They might be able to pull off a win in this game. They still have a tier 2 standing up top for wings, so let's see if LFY can get themselves the next Roche, and that's what they're heading for. Maybe we look at them to be aggressive. Ultimately look for the win, but here comes the TP in from Blink. They don't have Shadow for 13 seconds, as that's really what's going to stop them from getting in on this Roche. There it is, down, Aegis out on Monet with the cheese picked up by Jixing. And with the Aegis, LFY, they're right back in it. So despite the constant pushing aggression of Blink, looks as though LFY, they found themselves back into a control position in this game after a failed up high ground siege from Wings. So they're going to sit back, farm a little bit more. Super, let's see what he's got. Super's found himself at Shadowblade, had the Ags, now a Shiva's Guard with the Bloodstone Charges at 8 and the Boots of Travel. Now looking for an Octarine Core, a nice item for Super on this Lena. Wings, Faith Beyond, looking for a BKB, something that's been probably ultimately hurting him in these team fights. No BKB for Lifestealer either, either, but he doesn't really need it with the Rage. And then uh, over on Blink, he's going for an Octarine core of his own. Or actually, Bloodstone. So just farming away are both sides. They know they have the Aegis out on Monet. And now they start to head up top. They look to push out this creep wave, and they haven't really done anything just yet with the Aegis, but they're all up top here looking to push out top, and 
stop the pushing of Blink, but that's about it. They've got the Aegis, they've got the Cheese, LFY, this might be their moment to look and fight. It's letting Wings find themselves a couple of more items, which maybe they're not going to want, as if BKB gets finished on Faith Beyond, he could find himself in a really nice spot. In these team fights, we take a look over at the Warlock, who's going for a Refresher Orb, so four Golems could be down. I just think with LFY having this slight advantage, now is the moment to strike, and they're kind of sitting back a little bit too much. Maybe they don't feel comfortable about going in onto Wings just yet. So they're going to grab this last outer tower. They finally use it to be a little bit aggressive. But again, like I was saying earlier, LFY, they're going to have a hard time going into the high ground of Wings. You know, they're pushing top, but meanwhile, down low, Faith Beyond is here with Ice Ice. And Chixing going to show himself. Let's see if Y and Shadow make the rotation over. It's actually going to be Y and Shadow TPing back to base instead. So Wings sitting, both teams kind of sitting back. Maybe they don't feel too comfortable about going in despite having the Aegis out on Monet. He's picked up that MKB and will ultimately be looking for the Bloodthorn. So once he gets that Bloodthorn, going to be hitting even harder. We take a look over at Super. Let's see, is that Octarine Core finished? Uh, no, but close. And then over on the Abaddon. AC, Octarine, Core, Radiance, Blade Mail. We take a look at the net worths of all these heroes. There is the, sh the smoke coming out from LFY. It's Lena, Lifestealer, Tinker, Abaddon, Clink. So three of these cores are all up top for LFY. If they can take another fight, we could see them really find themselves in the driver's seat, but it's going to be tough. Faith Beyond, their team fight's pretty solid as well as their high ground defense. So LFY, they need to be precise about this next attack on the wings. And they did smoke up. They go into the jungle. They don't spot anything just yet. And they'll look to continue to just push mid. This age is just about to be reclaimed and now has that orchid out on Monet. So 45 and a half minutes in the game. And LFY's favored by 10,000 gold. Although it still kind of seems like Wings control the game. Just with the amount of pushing potential they have with the Tinker. Uh, Faith Beyond and Shadow. You know, LFY, they do have this nice net worth lead. But they haven't really done anything with it. They've sat back. They've formed up their next couple of items. But they haven't looked really to take any fights. Even with having that Aegis. So now Super and LP Sierra up top. Super, he's got that four staff as well as the Glimmer Cape. Looking for a BKB next. Then coming over is Y, Blink, and Faith Beyond. They'll push back this creep wave. They've got two up top in Shadow and Ice Ice. So they're looking to cut off these creeps. Continue a push of some form. But again, both teams just sitting on opposite ends of the map from each other. Not one team really looking that confident to move, on, move in on the other. Bottom is Monet. If they could find a pickoff on Shadow, they'd be in a really good spot to take a couple of towers. But he backs off to the high ground. They all head over mid. But still, nothing to happen from either side just yet. They might be waiting for Roche. Despite having the Aegis before, they might wait till Roche again. Y 
Why not wait for the Aegis? Why not wait for the Cheese? Give yourself a little bit more of an advantage on either side and possibly look to fight at the Roche Pit. Both teams know the next Aegis is important. So that might be where both teams are really looking to fight. But Blink, while all this is happening, he can still move around the map, push out these creep waves, farm away, and just make it hard for LFY to push these towers. LFY, they continue to try and move forward, but it keeps getting nullified by Blink just moving around. So Ice Ice with Shadow, they're going to TP on back, is heading down mid now as LFY, and the Rockets will start to come their way as they look to push this mid tier 3. And after saying that, they'll just back off again. Meanwhile, up top, Ice Ice, he's just pushing this creep wave out, doing what he what he can to get some aggression towards this tier 3 down low. He's here with the Solar Crest, looking for an Ags of his own, and now Monet's here with the Bloodthorn. Actually coming in is Blink. Gonna come in, throw the rockets, get the march of the machines down, sit here with Ice Ice, and back off. So they just keep pushing the creep wave bottom, pushing out towards this tier 3 tower. And from there, nothing else is really happening. We've got the Octarine core finished for Super over on Crystal Maiden, still looking for that BKB. Now the Refresher Orb is finished for Y. We take a look over at Shadow. He's got himself that finished Abyssal Blade. Looking for a heart next. Monkey King, he's got that BKB finished off. Faith Beyond should be a little bit more effective in these fights. When and where Wings choose to go in. So let's see. These heroes starting to hit level 25 all around the horn. We take a look at the 25 talents plus 15 armor for the life stealer Blink. Not 25 just yet. Faith Beyond, neither is he. 25 out on this Lena, so plus 40 slash 4% on the Fury Soul per stack. And then over on the Clinks, you take a look. He's got that attack range instead of the plus 70 strafe attack speed. So likes to be a little bit further out. No Hurricane Pike to really spread the distance between him and Shadow. Let's take a look. Is Abaddon level tw 25? Yes, he is. He's got the 25 strength. And now there's a gem coming out for LPC. So LFY sitting close as a team. Meanwhile, up top, Blink just continuing to push this top creep wave. Goes in, TPs in, march of the machines, rearm again and again, and then ultimately get out. But nobody really has made a move that's been too aggressive at all. Roche is back up. Both teams are going to be looking to take that. They know it's important. But let's see who spots it first and where the other team is when they do so. So they move over mid and infested into Faith Beyond his Shadow. There's the Primal Spring. They go in on Jixing. There's the upheaval to try and slow him down. They get the bash. He's hexed up. There it is with the Serpent Ward down. They're splitting off the side of LFY. And there's the shackles out on Jixing. And now the Chaotic Offering comes through. But Jixing, he's still got himself pretty high. And now another Chaotic Offering. But it's not enough to save Shadow. So they've lost Shadow. They're going to lose Ice Ice. Why? He's in a bit of trouble. There's the ulti from LPC. They get 3-4 with the buyback coming in from Shadow. And now Blink trying to run away. Shadow nearby. And they look to get a kill on Jixing. They get that first hit bash. There's the Lotus Orb. Shadow, he's already used his rage. He might be a little bit too far out. There's the Bloodthorn with the Light Strike Array. They get the kill. He bought back and dies immediately. And with that, four are dead on wings. None of which have buyback. So five deaths for Wings, and LFY with that, they might be able to just finish off the game. Jixing and Monet are here, 
They didn't really lose anything in that fight. They get the Bloodlust out on Monet. They continue to push forward. And they are going to take that Tier 3 tower. And Jixing just going to heal up with the hits from the tower. They take that first set of racks in the mid lane. And head down bottom to continue to clean up 83 seconds until they get Shadow back. And there's only so much that Blink can do. They've got themselves a set of racks bottom. And... Are they going to head towards top to make it Mega Creeps? Yes, they will. So there it is. They'll get this Tier 3 tower. And actually, Jixing falling very low. The ulti's popped again. There's the Abyssal Blade from Faith Beyond. He's going to use that ulti. And I think everybody gets out on LFY. But the Balance Strike comes on through with the laser. A couple of rockets. But Wings, they can use that. Back off, kill this shrine, and then go for Roche. Or do it the other way around. They will get this shrine. No TPs are going to be available to come on in. And now LFY, they're looking at Roche and they're knocking on the door of this 1-1 split. So Aegis and Cheese. This time Cheese goes out for super. Let's see if they do anything this time around with the Aegis. They're going to heal up at this shrine. And then let's see if they look to go in once again. So they are moving up top to push the creep wave out, finish off this top tier three and Rax, the tier 3 only sits at 64 health. And LFY should have no trouble finishing it off once they reach. So while all this is happening, Blink just trying to push as much as he can. It's going to be tough with these super creeps out for LFY. But LFY, it's, it's odd to me that they're, they've got the Aegis... And aren't really being as aggressive as I thought they would. They should have an easy time going into this fight. Of course, there is the double chaotic offering. They took a nice fight last time around. But maybe they just look to set up the best they can. Going for this tier 3 in the mega creeps. And ultimately the win. So Monet sitting close. It looks to hit away at Shadow. There's the Light Strike array to stun him up for just a moment. The upheaval coming through from the Warlock to slow them down. The laser bounces around the horn, and now here come the Rockets. LFY, they finished off the Tier 3. And with the Aegis, they should look to clear up this Creep Wave and go in once again. So Light Strike Ray actually hits out on two. The Laguna Blade finishes off the Shadow Shaman. They get the Chaotic Offering. And the ulti from Faith Beyond isn't really going to hit all too well. Everybody backs off from LFY. They get to the high ground. They're getting hit by these rockets, but they don't really mind too much. And again, they'll look to push one more time. They'll take out these golems pretty quickly. And Wings, they don't really have too much of an answer. So the Golem lays in wait. Jixen going to move on forward. They get the stun out. It looks as though the Chaotic Offering is going to come in again. And actually LFY getting pretty low. They do end up taking out Shadow. They'll take out the Warlock Y. They do lose LPC. There's the BKB from Faith Beyond. But the damage is too much from Monet. And LFY take game two as the GG is called. There's Mega Creeps. And LFY will split the series one to one. So it looked as though Wings had it for a moment. They lost a fight around that Roche Pit. LFY, they continue to farm up, found those upper echelon items, and did not look back at all. And they take this game to splitting the series at 1-1. One one. And both teams taking a point will stay tied in the, ser or in the bracket of this group stage. So we'll be back in just a moment with the next series coming up. Thank you guys for watching. I'm your caster, Bcop, P-K-O-P. And then uh, I am on Twitch, at Bcop92. Uh, that is what I just spelled out, plus the numbers 9 and 2. 
So we'll be back with the next series in just a moment. Stay right there. Listen to some chill-out music, and uh, we'll be right back.